What's good fam? It's your boy Ghetto and I'm back with another video. As of lately, I've been hearing a lot of talk and a lot of push about people who've been wanting to create full songs inside the MPC and standalone without ever having to go to a DAW. That being said, I believe I might have found a perfect microphone for that. This is the Phoenix Pro dual wireless microphone system. Follow me. Okay, I've already unboxed everything and it feels really solid. First things first, I'm gonna tell you what comes in the packet. You basically get your standard instruction booklet, which doesn't really have much in it. A little help if you need it, but not much. I'm gonna say that everything is really pretty straightforward. So first we have the wireless receiver. It's pretty small, it's made out of aluminum and it does feel like a quality piece. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break anytime soon. It feels really sturdy. So I'm pretty happy with the build quality on it. Next, we have a wireless transmitter here. It also can connect a headphone microphone or a lavalier on top. It has a quarter 20 mount and you can also clip it to a belt buckle or the back of your pants or something like that if you wanna tuck it and hide it away. Now, I just mentioned the wireless transmitter and that does come with two microphone options. You have this right here, which is a headset. So you can put it on, on your head and use it like this to talk. And it also comes with a lavalier lapel mic that you can mount on your jacket, shirt pocket, or anything like that with a nice long cable. You also get optional connectors for the receiver. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack and an angle quarter inch jack. So you got flexibility on how you wanna hook it up to the devices that you're using. And lastly, we have the wireless microphone. It's also aluminum. It is very, very lightweight, but it does feel solid. And it has a nice little pop filter on it. You can pull that off. It looks like a standard cardio microphone. It also comes with a USB charging cable. Now this USB charging cable does have two USB-C chargers on the end. So, with that, you can charge the transmitter and the receiver both at the same time with just one cable. And I think that's a pretty good design right there. That's actually really good thinking. As for the microphone, when we open up the microphone, it does take double A batteries. And I would suggest getting rechargeable batteries so you don't have to constantly run to the store. You can always keep some charged up. And since we got this off, there's a button under the bottom of the microphone right here that you use to change the frequencies when you're setting it to the receiver. Now, one thing that I don't like about this microphone is the power button right here. It's a squishy power button and you really have to push it in deep to get it to click and turn on. Um, and that's kind of a gift and a curse. I don't really like it, but at the same time with it being so difficult to turn on and how squishy the button is, you will probably never have to worry about turning the microphone off or on by accident. Now, another good thing about this wireless microphone system and why I think it's going to be great for the MPC Live 2 specifically is because it has a battery life of about five hours, which is roughly the same as the Live 2. So if you're using this with the Live 2 in tandem, you can pretty much predict about the same battery life for both. How does this microphone sound? That is a really, really good question. I know y'all thinking about that. So we about to find out now. Let's get this microphone hooked up and I'll start using this microphone so you can hear what it sounds like and get an idea of what we're really getting into. Okay, now we are currently using this wireless microphone. I think it sounds good. It has a lot more bass resonance than the microphone I was using, which is the Sennheiser MKH-50. And the Sennheiser microphone is at a distance away from me. You can't even see it in the shot, so keep that in mind. But this microphone does sound really good. It's a cardioid microphone, like I said before, which means that it takes sound 
from the front of the microphone and reject sound from any other direction in the microphone. So that's good for performing. You might be somewhere with noise in the background or in a loud space, and this will help alleviate some of that extra noise. Now, also, this microphone is really, really clean. The background, like the noise level, is almost non-existent. It sounds better than the, the Sennheiser MK850. The Sennheiser picks up a lot more background noise than this does, but the Sennheiser picks up literally everything. Like I said, this microphone is extremely, extremely clean, if you can't tell from hearing my voice. Now, that being said, I'm going to switch to the wireless receiver and use the lavalier mic or the headset mic so you can get a picture of how that sounds as well. All right, now we're using the headset microphone, and here's the receiver that is connected to wirelessly. This does pick up a little bit more of the background noise, but this is more of an omnidirectional microphone. So uh, I'm going to take this headset off real quick. So any direction that I'm talking in, you're pretty much hearing my voice just about the same because this is an omnidirectional mic. So it's meant to pick up more sound so it can pick you up basically from the side a lot better. I think this sounds good. The noise floor is still very low, not as low as the handheld microphone, but it's still very, very low and it sounds really good. So I give this thing, I'm giving so far, it's got an A for quality of the sound, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna switch this out for the lapel mic so you can get a chance to hear exactly how that sounds as well. You know what I'm saying? Definitely really good quality of sound though. All right, now we're listening to the lapel mic. It's right here on my shirt. And I do have a transmitter right here. I'm still holding it. The lapel microphone is the noisiest of the bunch. It's a lot noisier than, than every microphone that you've heard thus far. I don't know how much of that's gonna translate. You wanna keep that in mind if you wanna use this. I do think the headset microphone and the handheld microphone, the handheld microphone most definitely sound a lot better than the lapel microphone. But if you're in a pinch and you need something, this might do. Um, I would use this as a last resort though. All right, now we back on the headset microphone. And one more thing that I do wanna note is that you can use two microphone sources with this thing at a time. So right now I'm talking on the headset microphone and now we talking on the handheld microphone or both at the same time. So um, you can have one person on one and another person on the other if you need to. Um, you can also get two of these handheld microphones. So uh, you can have one or somebody else can have one and you know, spread it around maybe you're setting up a podcast maybe you don't want wires all over the place you're recording for under five hours maybe four because you know sometimes the battery don't last a full five hours then you can use this and and handle your business you know what i'm saying i wouldn't be opposed to doing something like that at all now another thing that you might want to get as an accessory to these microphones is some kind of a simple stand. That being said, something like this might be actually good for you. This is just a little tabletop microphone stand, kind of heavy duty. It's really hefty, so it won't move nowhere. And you can extend it up a little bit, sit it on the table, put your microphone on top of it, and you, you may be good to go. This might be all you really need. And the wireless microphone. Now, as I said before, I do believe that this microphone will pair up really well with the MPC Live 2. Just take this receiver, put it into the input on the Live 2, power up your microphone, and you're good to go. You can set this microphone anywhere you wanna be in the room. It can reach up to 200 feet, which is really far. And like I said before, the quality of the sound is really good for this microphone especially with no, I mean, no noise floor. That is the Phoenix Pro wireless microphone system. But if you're looking for something that's a little bigger and more robust, they do have rack mount systems 
and other wireless system that hold more microphones that you can get and i will have a link in the description that you can click on and go to buy these units and if you use my code which is ghetto styles you will get five percent off also these products are on amazon so for those of you who have amazon prime and you like getting your stuff in two days or less i will leave an amazon link in the description as well these links will help the channel and i appreciate it if you use it but you definitely don't have to you can go directly to phoenixpro.com and get yourself a good sound and wireless system i honestly like this system a lot i've been messing around with it for the last few days this is not the first wireless microphone system i have i do have a audio technica wireless lavalier system don't really like it at all used it once or twice and kind of put it on the shelf so this will get a lot more play especially because of the sound of the microphone i cannot stress enough how clean that wireless microphone sounds it actually surprised me a lot especially for the price point of the microphone. It performs well above its price point. I can definitely say that. It, this is just my opinion though. Some other people may think differently. I will also leave a link in the description for the tabletop stand for anybody who's interested. Thanks for checking me out. That's all I got for this video. For more videos like this, feel free to click around and check some of the other stuff I got. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.